Hi, I'm Mike Burroughs from Rockwell Automation, and I'm here to talk today about what's new in integrated architecture. And you're, you're seeing here is a, is a whole series of new products from us that we're going to be talking about. I'm going to show you some of the things here, and then we're going to walk around and show you as they're applied in, in many of our systems. We're going to start off talking about a lot of new things that we're doing with our developments with Cisco and uh, our Stratix portfolio. What's new for us is on-machine uh, Stratix with the Stratix 5700 talking about the wireless uh, access, uh, access point workgroup bridge with the Stratix 5100. We're showing uh, a new Stratix 5400, which is a gigabit distribution switch that will be coming out later this year. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, things going on within our Logix family, uh, new control uh, capabilities with the expansion of uh, 56IO with heart modules, uh, conformal coding on those. We also are showing our uh, Armor Control Logix, which is a new on-machine uh, controller for us. And then we're showing a, a condition monitoring with the new Dynamics 1444 and a whole series of uh, new I.O. families, both with I.O. Link going into our point I.O. as well as uh, Armor uh, Block Guard I.O. on Ethernet IP for, uh, for on-machine safety applications. From the visualization area, we're talking about new MobileView tethered uh, products that will be coming out later this year. Uh, we also have the PanelView Plus 7, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And uh, f finally, we'll, we're going to finish up with uh, what's around uh, our motion control capabilities, the Connects 5500 platform. So let's walk over here and talk about the PanelView Plus 7 and the whole family we have coming out now. This is uh, the next generation of our uh, PanelView Plus capabilities. And we see a lot of new screen sizes and capabilities all the way down to a 4-inch wide screen here, uh, wider dimensions for our 9-inch our screens, all the way up through the 15-inch uh, the screens that we're showing now. It's actually two families here, one that's optimized for machine builders that we call the PanelView Plus 7 standard, and one that's uh, optimized for, for larger or information-enabled applications that we call the PanelView Plus 7 performance. Now we're going to walk over here to the uh, Studio 5000 area where we're introducing uh, new uh, V24, which brings a whole new capabilities around automation productivity. Specifically, it's about system organization, a logical organization model to the design environment, library management, modular automation within that, virtual design capabilities within that, system intellectual property management within that. So a whole new set of capabilities that we have within our automation design and engineering environment. Of course, all of this is built on multidiscipline control and the Logix platform with the key systems we have here. We're showing behind me the uh, Logix family, the full R, uh, family of Logix controllers from the L1 all the way through the guard Logix and the on-machine guard Logix. Um, we also, of course, are talking about intelligent motor control as that's distributed in the, in the architecture, uh, integrated safety capabilities with our, our large machine safety applications, uh, integrated motion capabilities with that uh, in our Kinetics families and PowerFlex uh, 755. We also then talk about our, our process systems in our modern DCS with Plant PAX and our high availability systems. And here we're, sh we're showing a SIL2 typical application with the 1715 I.O., redundant logics controllers, fault tolerant networks, uh, redundant switches, and, uh, and we're also showing here our dual port uh, Ethernet IP enabled Dynamics 1444 condition monitoring. Last section I want to talk about is, is, is our scalability with our machine builders. Here we're showing a, a typical process skid type application based on compact logics. In this case, the L2 also has the Stratix 5900, which would be a, a remote access uh, uh, or zone, uh, zone uh, security router. We have the Dynamics 1444 modules here that's going to do uh, predictive maintenance integrated directly with logics. And, uh, and of course, we have our PowerFlex families that, uh, that, are, uh, that are core to us with the new PowerFlex 525 family. The other key system I want to talk through is our, our small motion control system. And in this case here, we're talking about a lot of new safety uh, type of applications. Specifically, we've now launched the PowerFlex 527 family. That's now giving us SIP motion in a AC drive format. The uh, uh, Kinetics uh, 5500 is, uh, is also now enabled with network power safety when with a guard logics processor. So that gives us both SIP motion and SIP safety in a, in a modular small uh, servo platform. For small and simple uh, safety applications, we, uh, we're now introducing the 440R uh, uh, Ethernet adapter for our safety relays that allows us to add uh, safety very, uh, in a premier integration model 
to any mid-range architecture system or mid-range uh, uh, system that we have with compact logics uh, in, in, in many of our uh, safety applications. So that's what I have for you today here. I appreciate your time. You're going to hear more from us uh, on, on machine builder performance and some of the partnering that we're doing. Uh, we're also going to be talking more about uh, uh, security and the layers, uh, defense and depth that we're doing and our security systems. And uh, for more information, please visit us on rockwellautomation.com under integrated architecture. Thank you very much.